Hello everybody, Avery, Y Tutorials. Today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can create a donation button and a donation campaign with PayPal. Now there's plenty of different places that you can have a crowdfunding campaign. I'm choosing to show off PayPal today, mainly because if you have the audience, then you can save a lot of money on fees, like uh, Kickstarter, for example you have to split that and i'm not sure how much it is but i know it will be a lot less if you do it yourself on paypal versus using kickstarter's platform so once again up here on paypal right now this is a business account so if you don't have one you'll have to create one but after you do you'll be on this home page right here what you want to do is go up to sales and then you want to go to donations all right from the donations page we have three options to create a link uh, you have a quick and simple link you have one where you can customize the actual button that people can see and then you can start an actual campaign where you can track the goal and track progress and people that donated to you so if you want to see exactly what are the differences, you can go up here where it says which one's right for you. You can click on that and you can see the different um, the differences between them. So what I'm going to do is show you uh, the basic one for people that want to just stick with having a link that they can share on YouTube. And then if you want to start an actual campaign. So let's go ahead and start with create a link. Okay, step one to three, set up your donation page. First thing you see at the top is the organization name, which you should already have your organization name up here, just like I got mine. If you have already uploaded a logo for your business account, then you will see your logo right here. If you don't, then you will have the option to upload a new logo regardless. And you can change your logo. You can get rid of this old one or you can go ahead and add a new one. Um, I don't need to add a new one. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave this as is. Now, you also have the option to add an image to your donation page. If you do, it will be basically a cover image will be over here where you can see right there. I'm going to have to upload another image, cover image. So I'd rather not do the same thing twice. So I'm just going to go down and go to add an inspiring message for your donation page here I want to go ahead and add thanks for your support you can see that it pops up right under YT tutorials I'm gonna go ahead and press continue and we are at step two or three which is customize your donation details first off is the currency that you receive donations in I'm going to keep mine at US dollars but you have the option to go ahead and change the country and currency if you want so under that is how much do you want donors to give you can go ahead and leave it at any amount you can do an exact amount like five dollars for example or you can set three different options plus any amount so if I want to do two dollars second option five dollars third option ten dollars and then the last one will be any amount that the uh, supporter will choose going down you have give donors the option to increase their donation amount to help offset the cost of fees so they'll still will still be charged the fee but the donor the donor can go ahead and pay for the fees themselves all right I'm going to leave that as is and then you have let donors make recurring donations I'm going to go ahead and leave that as as is as well looking down you can go ahead and change it from monthly to yearly you can also add weekly but you do need at least uh, if you're going to use this you got to have one but you can't use all three you got to have at least you got to have two that's it so I can do one time or monthly which looks perfectly fine to me or the yearly so let's go ahead and go down look at the last thing which is let donors choose specific programs for their donation so if you have more than one program if you're doing it for a specific cause or you have um, specific goals that you want to reach and you can let your supporter pick that specific goal that they want you to reach so 
that sounds cool and all but i don't have that so i'm just gonna go ahead and go to continue now the last thing is setting up your payment page which is do you want the donor's mailing address i do not i probably would never want the donor's mailing address um going down it says your mailing address donor mailing address so nah, i just don't see it being a point Organi organization needs your address for the records contact them about privacy policies and the biggest thing about this is I do not think that this is the email address. Otherwise, it would say email address. They're just saying your regular address. I don't need that. Don't think anybody else would need it either. So it is what it is. But under that is let donors send you an optional note with their donation. So, hey, if they got any instructions or they just want to say something nice to you, then, hey, why not give them the option to do so, right? The last two things is you can take donors back to your website so if you have a website then you can have this redirect them so if whether they cancel this and you want to redirect them to a specific page or they complete the donation and you want to redirect them to a thank you page then you have that option right or don't do either one um, for people that are just using this on YouTube tutorial <coughs> People that are just using this on YouTube, I would assume that you don't need to have this. And the same thing with the add extra HTML button variables. If you're just putting this on your YouTube videos somewhere in the description, then you don't need to worry about this. So that is step three of three. We can go ahead and finish this off. And now my page is ready and it's i can go ahead and share it so i got a link right here and i got a qr code that i can use as well go ahead and get this link and copy it now i already have ways that i can go ahead and share it but let's say i want to go ahead and add this to my youtube channel so going down here i can go ahead to a description and all i gotta do is just find a place I want to put it and just copy and paste it. Well, I already copied it. And all I got to do is just paste it in and press save. Go ahead, check it out from the video link. Take a look at it. You can see it's right here. Clicking on it opens a new window. Well, it opens a new tab. And you can see that it says donate to YouTube tutorials right here. Thanks for your support. Whether it be monthly, yearly. But well, I got $2, $5, $10. It looks the exact same that I want it to be. And you can see where it says add. Um, if I click this, then I'll add how much it is for the fees. So that's all. Next up is starting the campaign. So I'm gonna go ahead and start this campaign. So I got four steps on this one. And as you can see, this one is a little more detailed in this specific page, right? So on top of having an organization name, we have a title, camp, a campaign title, excuse me. So I'm gonna press test. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it at that. We still got campaign goal, we got the currency, and we got the goal amount. So let's go ahead and say I want it to be five thousand dollars for this gold amount. All right? You can see that it changed right here, zero percent, <clears throat> zero amount of dollars raised to five thousand. So far, we have an end date if we want one to be here. So you can say that it ends in thirty days but uh we'll leave it at that once again how much do you want donors to give it can be any amount an exact amount three amount options plus any amount and i'm going to go ahead and just keep it at any amount for here going down we have let donors make monthly reoccurring donations of course gonna go ahead and leave that and then we have the option to let the donors offset the cost of the fees if they want to do so and we'll leave that as well and go ahead and press continue here we got customized campaign page we're going to go ahead and upload an image from here 
we can drag and drop or just click the browse so we're gonna go ahead and browse for one and then we go down of course once again if you want to change your logo you can right here is the exact same thing going down something different though is telling your story and you have help us meet our goals we'll raise the money to make a difference and further our cause to meet new challenges we've set up this campaign with a goal of five thousand dollars now if this just sounds good as is to you then you can leave it of course but if you want to have something that's more personal then i would suggest you go ahead and change it out you got very a very small amount of stuff that you can go ahead and change like whether you want it to be center on the right justify whatever and i don't like justify but going to step three or four once again we're at the payment page so once again we can add a donor's mailing address and we can go ahead and redirect our donors back to the website both of which i'm going to leave them as is go ahead and press continue now we are at step four of four which is customize your embed options so we can create an embed campaign card which will be this this is exactly what it looked like and then we have our description at the bottom of it or what we could do is go ahead and create a button for our website and we can use a paypal button style or we can use our own button style i'm going to use the paypal button style i have the option to use a small one or a large one and i'm gonna keep it as large you can see the button preview down here it is very even the large one is pretty small to me so that's why i like to just use the large one you have the option to use a different country or region and then you have language which is english i'm gonna stay with english and then you can go ahead and show accepted card logos at the bottom and i'm going to go ahead and leave it at that so that is done and we're going to go ahead and press finish so from here what we can do is go ahead once again if you want to grab your link and add it to a youtube video you can um, or if you want to add it to your website you can do that as well or whatever social media platform that you got go ahead and add to that but yeah from what you just saw man it's very simple to go ahead and make a donation button on paypal once again this is a good option for people that don't want to that thinks that you know other crowdfunding platforms their uh content split or their um donation splits a little too high so yeah you know think about it whether or not you want to do this and hey let me know what you decide to do in the comment section below hopefully this video was helpful to you if it was why don't you go ahead and click the like button so other people know that this was a good video to watch and i will see you guys later in a new video soon